Um, over Jacksonville Beach, it's where hundreds of families line Jacksonville Beach streets to take part in the opening of the beaches parade. More people on the beach means more emergency calls for lifeguards. Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan shows us the most common calls and the new class of lifeguards ready to help your family. The opening of the beaches parade is in its 73rd year. It's been a tradition for some families for decades. Now, one of the fan favorites, these antique military vehicles. Now, while families were lining up, getting ready, brand new lifeguards had already hit the beach to make sure families are safe this busy season. Children waved American flags as a stream of antique military vehicles. <laughs> Fire trucks and floats made their way down First Street. Crowds have been gathering since about nine this morning, so we're so excited. Some kids were there for the goodies. Candy. While others showed up to support the 73 year old tradition. Meanwhile, down the road, 40 lifeguards scanned the coastline. This is definitely when the volume of calls starts to pick up. The beaches opening means all the lifeguard towers were out and doubled the number of guards. For 18 guards, it was their first solo shift after 12 weeks of training. We train them in first aid, um, CPR, AED use, emergency medical response. They, we train to a very high le level here. Mikey Atkins tells me one of the most common calls are for missing kids. They often reunite parents with their children. So if you're headed to the beach, keep a close eye on your little ones and always swim near a lifeguard. The new faces in those lifeguard towers aren't the only change you'll notice if you're headed to Jacksonville Beach. In March, they rolled out a new paid parking program. Using these kiosks, you'll need a credit card or you can pay by your app. You can find more information about pricing on actionnewsjacks.com. Reporting in Jacksonville Beach, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.